Amid violent clashes and protests, Nepal adopted its first full democratic charter on Sunday, a historic step for a nation that has seen war, a palace massacre and devastating earthquakes since a campaign to create a modern state began more than 65 years ago. President Ram Baran Yadav formally promulgated the constitution intended to unite the country but it has already exacerbated divisions in some places with at least 40 people killed in protest against it in recent weeks. On Sunday and Monday, schools and offices would remain closed to celebrate the adoption of constitution. The constitution will make the nation a secular federal republic with seven states. On Sunday, violent clash between security personnel and protesters killed at least one and injured several others. The unrest troubles India, which on Sunday urged Nepal to resolve differences between groups through dialogue. Celebrations took place outside Nepal Embassy in New Delhi with people dancing and singing. Nepal's ambassador to India, Deep Upadhyay, called it a historic moment. I think I would say a new introduction also. Before just where the highest peak Himalaya, the box place of blood with the, now it's a, it's a phrase of the, maybe the new kind of a, for the global peace, which Prime Minister Modi has already been trying to uh, propagate it. Correspondent Kapil from New Delhi for ANI.